What up guys, today I'm going to talk to you about Battlefield 3. Battlefield 3 has changed my life in many ways, being that I don't have to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 anymore. Thank God. Um, Battlefield 3 is a lot of fun. It's kind of a complex game when you first get started, but I figured it out right away, especially when I played Team Deathmatch and sort of mastered the game type. Team Deathmatch is... It's just perfect. You don't have to worry about too much team coordination because it's all about going positive. And a good medic, a good assault class can do that for you. In Conquest, I, I like Engineer a lot for Conquest. And I'll use Recon whenever I want to just relax and snipe some people. But most of the time, I'm going to use Assault and most of the time I'm going to play Team Deathmatch. I don't have to worry about my teammates doing too good in Team Deathmatch because generally the other team is going to be equally skilled. But in Conquest, I really have to worry about my team's cooperation with me, and I don't have too big of an impact on the game, and I like to win. So I like to play Team Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch is all about assault. You can drop out your medikit, you can defibrillate people. So essentially, after people are done with a scary fight, they heal up. After people die and lose their fight, the, you, you, you bring them back to life. Come back to life, my friend! And it's just positive. You just you just change your team's score. Like, they, they scored a point, boom! Not anymore, they're back alive. They lost the point. I mean, it gives you your points back. I think the most effective thing that you can do for the game is to change the kill-to-death ratio of other people. And that's what Assault Class can do for you. Not only are you helping them by healing them, you're giving them a better score. But unlike this bastard right here, support class doesn't even leave a trail of uh, ammo for me. I've been looking for him to drop ammo the whole time. I think I have two or three teammates who are support, and they're not dropping ammo. And that's the most frustrating thing ever as an assault class, because I'm sitting there going out of my way to save them, to change the score of the game for them, and they're not even going to give me you know, a few extra rounds. Round. <laughs> rounds all right okay alex the most effective way to change the game's outcome is to play your class right if you're a support class just give me some, give me ammo i mean since this time i've gotten the ammo specialization so i haven't had to worry about it too much but before i got that before i unlocked it i had to deal with that all the time and i shouldn't even have to worry about that if you're playing support you should be dropping your 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 kit out for everyone it changes the game it changes people's lives if people did it on a regular basis I would not have to specialize for ammo I could do for something else I could do for sprint if I really wanted and maybe I'd save somebody faster now one reason I'm living so long in this game is because I'm playing defensively really I didn't have a choice though in this game I remember specifically my girlfriend kept texting me and Normally I just let it sit there and I'll text her after the game, but she like it was like on text number four It was like you need to get offline now, and I'm having I'm having a blast I'm like I'm just wrecking it. I'm destroying in game. I'm I'm teaching people a lesson I'm the reason my team is winning this game and she's telling me to get off one of the things that you'll see me do is kind of stop and you know I'll, I'll like sit there and I'll have to text her back and be like, you know what, I'll be on Skype soon. And she's like, oh, two minutes, two minutes and I'm going to bed. That's just how it is. Two minutes, if you're not on two minutes, and I'm like, baby, I'll be on very soon. Just wait up, please. I, I want to talk to you. And she's getting frustrated with me, but I'm being the best I can. But I got other things to worry about. This game, I'm looking at the support guy. I'm giving him rounds. I'm, I'm telling him in game, you got to come back and give me ammo. And what does he do? He runs off like a little punk and gets killed. Man, it's times like these. I just wish gamers understood basic concepts of gaming. Team is a team. You gotta help your team, especially they put it in the game. It does, it's not like it doesn't help you. I mean, yeah, you've got tons of shots and you're just like, Phew, I'm king of the world with my heavy machine gun. No, you've gotta be there for your team. I leave trails of them even when I'm not taking damage I leave trails of, of med kits because I understand it gets you points anyways there's no reason not to so I get fed up with it just completely fed up with it and say whatever 
I'm gonna run over to this guy and I, I, I take up his weapon setup and it happens to be assault class and I was psyched when I saw it I'm like yes another 10 minutes of gaming without dying just it's like if you're careful you've got infinite life boom recon guy sitting there get healed get points for healing and all I'm doing is pressing one button and I'm helping them sometimes if, if I'm if I'm if I'm occupied with something or you know I've got to go Google something I'll sit there and I'll keep one eye on him and I'll just revive him over and over again and he's like an infinite cycle and I do that with people around who go around corners and stuff like that I will just follow one person around just like this guy up here I flop I, I just sit there and I look at him and really I'm texting right now but I sit there and I look at him and I let him go around the corner and I and I give him support if he goes down revive him right back up no harm to me and I got points for it he's getting points for it it's 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 the way to beat the game this is team deathmatch you see in conquest yeah I'll, I'll play engineer and I'll switch it up and you know I'll repair vehicles I'll blow vehicles up and pretty much I, I float around with my team and we do the little floaty dance and we take people out in in our vehicles it's a lot of fun when you get a teammate teammate like that but Right now, I'm going Lone Wolf and Team Deathmatch. I'm I'm simply trying to win the games as much as possible, just because it's an objective that I like to complete. So, whenever I see a teammate going around a corner and I'm a saw class, I'm gonna stand right next to him. They go down, boom, get them right back up, right back where they where they started from. No reason not to. It, it helps the team, and it it's just gonna give you the points basically. Now I know I haven't given you guys a clip in quite a while, it's probably been about a month since I've released anything, but in my defense, I've moved recently, I graduated college, I'm, I've made my resume, I'm filling out applications, I'm talking to, to, to contractors, you know, I'm doing important stuff, and I've got a lot on my mind, so I'm not exactly like, oh, tip for free, you know, oh, 50,000 views in a couple months, but I know I've got some really good fans out there and this 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 nine minute clip is meant for you guys I do it for the fans the fans are there for me on an everyday basis and I feel like we have a connection now you see I ran out of ammo again with an assault class so I go over and I scoop up the sniper rifle and yeah I'm gonna take care of business with the sniper rifle just a little bit I don't do too much recon work so I'm not like I'm like sitting there with like low amounts of health and I'm like oh I wish I had a, a healing kit but I flop out my spawn beacon just like I'm supposed to. I uh, anything else that I got, I'm gonna drop out, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna offer the small amount of support I can with my recon class, and hopefully teach these kids a lesson. You'll notice my positive in the game is is crazy. I mean, the amount I've helped my team this this single life that you've been watching for like nine minutes now. It's ridiculous. It's actually on 1.4 speed, so it's probably around 10 minutes of one life. But I've healed people, I've revived people, I've covered people's back. I'm probably positive 20 or 25, somewhere around there, because of all the revives that I get and all the kills that I've gotten. Those two things combined is what makes up the score for being ahead of how much I am. And this is just how it is every game, every day in the game. It's just you've got to you've got to work for it. You've got to understand simple gaming concepts. Well, I guess that was uh, that was probably all I got for you today. Just nine minutes of gaming. Uh, just a shout out to my fans. Just me chatting it up with you guys. This is how to play Battlefield Three Team Deathmatch and uh, keep it real, guys. Keep gaming.